Hey booktube, here is how I rate books. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks and recently I got the question, how do you rate your books? So I just thought I would talk about that since I reassess the way I do it all the time and I always think that it is something that is worth um, consideration from time to time, you know, just to see if uh, I like the way I'm doing it or if I should change it. So before I talk about how I give a rating to a book, I have to talk about where I do it and that's on Goodreads. I love Goodreads. It is my social media uh, site of choice and I spend probably as much time on that as I do all of the rest of my social media sites combined. I love it because I can track the books I am reading, I can see what I've read, I can add books uh, that I want to read. I can find a lot of new books. I, I depend on Goodreads uh, for recommendations a lot. And I've met some great people through Goodreads. So I just think it's a great system if you love books, and I do. So I use their five-star rating system. And that is, as Goodreads describes it, one star is, I didn't like it. Two stars is, it was okay. Three stars is, I liked it. Four stars is, I really liked it. And five stars is, it was amazing. So however you want to interpret those things, um, that's how I do it. Um, and obviously I interpret those uh, pretty literally actually. My other place to rate books is audible.com. And I really like their rating system for audiobooks. It is a three-part rating, and they use the five-star system as well, but they divide it up into an overall rating, one to five stars, the narrator's performance, one to five stars, and then the story, one to five stars. So the interesting thing to me about that is when I do rate a book on Audible, which by the way isn't that often because I'm always on Goodreads, yeah, when I do, a lot of times the overall rating won't be an average of the other two. Sometimes it's um, higher or lower. You know, it just depends. Um, Goodreads and Audible don't afford us the option of doing half star ratings, which I think would be great, but you know, I'll work with the increments that we have. And that's because if you write a review, then you can talk about how you would rate it, you know, in between. You can give it three and a half stars rounded down or three and a half rounded up or whatever, you know. Um, and I think that's probably why they don't uh, break it down any more than they do. So that's Goodreads and Audible. Um, now, when I rate a book, I have to tell you that it's going to be different if it's a print book or if it's an audio book. And there are a lot of reasons for that. So I'll start out with print books and I'll tell you that I can't usually get through a print book in a day. Um, it takes me longer. It takes me a couple of days. I don't really want to make time in my life to sit down and read a book. It feels like I'm wasting time. It feels like I'm not doing anything. And I know that's crazy because, you know, that's a great thing to do with your time. But it takes me two weeks or a month to get through it, then I'm not going to rate it very highly because if I even finish it at all, honestly, because it, it feels tedious, you know, and if a book is tedious and not grabbing me in that I don't want to put it down, then, you know, I, I just, my time is worth more than that. So that happens with a print book. When um, I listen to an audiobook and I don't like the narrator, then a print book gets a little bit of, uh, I don't know, slightly higher rating just because I know that if I listen to it on audio, I would give it a really low rating. So I, I'm coming into the print book knowing that uh, it's better than the audio. So that's print books. Audiobooks are different, obviously, or audible.com wouldn't have this, you know, uh, three part system. With an audiobook, a couple of things come into play. First of all, the narrator. A narrator can be 
fabulous. It can be, a uh, book can be really kind of eh, written average to poorly, and yet you have a fantastic narrator, and that's going to pull up the rating for me. If I have a, a an amazing book, but it's really poorly narrated, then I, that's going to drag the rating down for me. I think that's probably true for all of us. Um, a narrator can make or break a book, really, on audio. So that has a huge influence on my rating. I like to be immersed in a story. And so uh, if I'm getting yanked out of the story over and over and over again because of outside influences or because the narrator is saying things in a way that I don't like or I don't think is authentic on some level, then that's going to affect my rating of a book. Uh, with a print book, I think the same thing is true. Uh, your environment can affect your enjoyment of a book. If you're constantly having to put it down and then come back to it, it er interrupts the flow of the story. And when that happens, it's just not as good a reading experience. I think um, with regard to environment and being pulled in or out of a story, or even your environment affecting your enjoyment of a story, with me, I know where I was and what I was doing pretty much when I read any book. I can pretty much tell you where I was. For example, when I was reading um, Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, I was navigating traffic on I-40 going east into Greensboro, North Carolina, and it was busy. I mean, it was, you know, probably slightly after rush hour, a lot of traffic, and I was, you know, trying to navigate cars and speed limits and getting around, and, and you know, it wasn't a bad experience, but what was going on in the book, the conflict, was frustrating and probably more frustrating because I was dealing with traffic, so... Um, yeah, outside influences are always going to affect your rating of a book. So, all of that taken into consideration, I rate books on my emotional reaction to it. I don't get really fussy about the mechanics of the book, the, the grammar, or the punctuation, obviously, because I listen to audiobooks all the time. Um, I, don't, I don't get caught up in that because I'm not a book critic. I don't have to write for some magazine. I just know whether I like it or whether I didn't. I pretty much get to the end and I, I, I base it on a feeling. I read for, I mean, because I like it, because it's a hobby. It's not my job, although you'd think it was, honestly, as many books as I read, but, but I don't know. It's hard to describe. You know, I'll get to the end of a book and I think the way that that was written, the way that it spoke to me was amazing or that uh, the way that that, that plot was constructed, what happened in the order it happened in and things like that, that will affect my rating of a book. I will tell you also that I start at three stars. I think everybody gets a fair shake. They start at three stars and I either go up or down from there. And I really do try and stick with the, with the Goodreads recommendations on those stars. So you don't see a whole plethora of five-star books for me. The books really have to be amazing for me to say that they're amazing. Um, a lot of books are four stars for me. That's probably my most common rating because I will take a three-and-a-half-star book and round it up. Um, a lot of the romances I read are three-star books because it's a familiar trope, it's a familiar uh, character, you know, repeated. And so I know what to expect, And I, although I enjoy it a lot, and I think that's, that was fun. If it doesn't give me anything new or anything a little bit deeper, then it's going to stay at three stars. And I recommend three-star books all the time. I think, you know, a three-star book is a good book. And... If it's not good, I'll go down. Or if I really, you know, to, to give it one star, I really don't like it. I don't know that I hate a book. I think hate is a strong word, but I really don't like it. There have been a couple of times, very rarely, where I will not give a book or star rating at all because I just will be, this was so bad <laughs> that you should not even waste your time. So that's how I rate books. If you rate books differently than that, I would love to know. I think that we all have our own opinions. Um, every book is a subjective thing. Um, so we're all going to look at it that way. You know, I liked it, but you didn't. You liked it, but I didn't, you know. 
that's always going to be true so if you have a specific way that you rate things I would love to hear about that I don't know that that'll have an influence on the way I rate them but I am always learning and always interested in the, the different thing from me so I'd love to hear that and if you have any comments about the way I do it, I would love to hear that too. So let's talk about that in comments. And that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.